What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today taking on the 2-4 and four Tennessee Titans and Detroit Lions franchise. Big game against the Packers last week. They were 5-0 and and we beat them. We are currently tied for the division lead. This is good stuff. The Titans are only an 80 overall and as one of the best teams in the league, we should start playing like it and we are. The one loss, I just feel like we were dominated, but it was still a close game. So hopefully with the poor Titans team, we're able to assert our dominance and crush them. As this is this is very true. You and Richie Owens seem to be building some nice chemistry out there and it's been showing up not just in practice, but in the game as well. Richie Owens is going off. Paul Garrison says, definitely dead. Quick larder. No, I'm not going to do that. But that's probably what Paul Garrison sounds like. You guys all make fun of him because he just looks like a huge dickhead. And you're right. You're right. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's, Richie Owens been going off with Paul Garrison. It's been uh, it's been nice to see. Ooh, get wide receiver Richie Owens 100 plus yards receiving against the Titans to upgrade his depth rate from normal to star. That's gonna happen naturally. Richie Owens just he gets 100 yards every game now at this point. And if we get touchdowns with Richie Owens, it'll increase the amount of XP he receives if his yardage goal is completed. Well, we want some TDs with Richie Owens. Again, I think this is just going to happen. Similarly to the way it happened with Raphael Wilkinson. You know, I, uh, I think we can just force the ball to, to, to Richie Owens and make some plays happen. But uh, we're going to give a smug response. Trap game. Yeah, they suck. Based on their record and what they've put out on film over the past few weeks, I haven't seen much for us to be worried about whether we have our eyes on next week or not. So uh, the Titans will have minus five break tackle, play wreck, and tackle. See, usually it, it upgrades them. <laughs> but now they're even worse. Uh, yeah, sucks to be the Titans. Let's go ahead and take a look at this team. They no longer have Derrick Henry. Remember, he was a free agent. He jumped ship. And these guys are all playing down now. Ryan Tannehill's still sticking around. George Morton is a pretty high overall young running back. Doesn't look too bad. Zach Moss, Andrew Beck, they have 35 year old Julio, who's still good. AJ Brown, Preston Williams, and Damian Hawkins. Harrison Bryant is their starting tight end. Tyree Phillips, this might be a bad O line. Eric Flowers, Jeff Goldberg. We thought about drafting, by the way, out of Oregon. Definitely thought about it. Nate Davis and Eric Skukanek. Or Skukanech. Probably Skukanek. It's a very weird name. Of course, Jeffrey Simmons is Superstar X Factor now. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. 94 block shed for Jeffrey Simmons. Peyton Turner. Okay, so that's not the right uh, face scan. <laughs> So this is the Saints first round pick from 2021. Who is that? I don't know who that's supposed to be. Is that a different Peyton Turner? I don't even know what those jerseys are. They look like mid 90s Jags or Ravens. I can't tell. Is there a Peyton Turner that used to play? If you know who that actually is, let me know because I'm curious. I have no idea. It looks like he's wearing number 84 you can see the four on the right side of the front of the jerseys off center which means there is another number we know it's a four from the shoulder could be like 24 as well he doesn't really look familiar to me and i have no idea what that patch is very strange but they have tim settle lonnie skandrick bud dupree is pretty bad now but still fast rashawn evans Jayon brown pretty good interior group oh there's roy hunt we looked at him quite a bit in his draft class. Harold Landry's still here. Also, Marcus Wilkerson, pretty good young player. Caleb Farley, Trey Flowers, Elijah Molden. Caleb Farley is a great athlete, not a whole ton else there. Kevin Byard, still decent. And then there's Jordan Fuller. It's, it's not as bad of a team as I thought, but they're not particularly good. And we don't really have a lot to do here in week seven. Just hope that in training, we don't get injured. And I'm not really worried about, about 
Zach Moss, if I'm going to be honest. They're number 32 in everything offensively, but it looks like their defense is actually really, really good, ranking very high, except they just don't take the football away. We are going to do... We'll do Blitz Counter. We'll do Blitz Counter. Right? Do we want that? No, let's do Throw It Deep. Let's get crazy. Which we love to do anyway. And Richie Owens... I mean, getting him up to star dev would be big. He might even go up to an 80 overall before this game. And every time I get Raphael Wilkinson in here, he just gets taken out because he gets injured. I'm sick of it happening. Put Eric Hudson in there for now. This offense should be really bad. We'll do allow fewer than two. Actually, should we go crazy? Let's do 350 plus yards passing. I do that pretty often. We'll do... No conversions on fourth down. Actually, Zach Moss is not averaging four yards per carry. Forget about that one. Offensive coordinator, pass for 275, and then head coach. I think we can kill him. Let's do a blowout win by 17 plus. Although I feel like every time I choose that, it's way closer than it should be. So I guess we'll see if that uh, if that is true. Shoulder strain for Richie Owens. No way he's gonna miss this game, man. No way. Back strain for Frank Ragnow. Dude, back to back games now. I've had the opportunity to upgrade players and they're going to miss the week. Richie Owens out late last night partying. He's in the in the club tossing money. That's how we got that shoulder strain rotator cuff or something going on there. Uh, that is beyond annoying. We had a real chance to get that get star dev and he's not going to play. Oh, that I'm I am. I'm tilted. I'm on tilt right now. That is so stupid. Oh, that's so dumb. He's going to get upgraded. Some decent boosts in there. But man, that is so annoying. And then Derek Davidson. I'm doing zone. He needs to be better in coverage. And he just he doesn't get it upgraded. Every time I do zone and they're like, uh, no, not doing it. I'm actually, I'm really mad. That's so, so stupid. All right. Such is life though in the NFL. Injuries happen. A practice injury? Shoulder strain in practice? Yeah, it's BS. What was Richie Owens doing at the club that, you know, he got a shoulder strain? That's what I want to know. On the road here in Tennessee and we are underway. Ward back to return. He'll have a touchback. Start on the 25. It's going to be a run up the middle, and there's nowhere to go for Morton. Our D-line's too good, so we're going to shut that down all game. Third and seven. Ryan Tannehill had a shotgun. We're going to cover over the middle, and they're just going to check down, and nothing there. So, I mean, the entire goal of getting the ball to Richie Owens is... That's chalked. Mm, I'm so mad about that, dude. It's... It's dumb. It's dumb. Underneath the Chris Godwin. Thank goodness there was no weird animation there. And look at the run after catch ability from Rod God. 24 yards. How many of those came after the catch? 22 of them? Underneath. How is that picked? How is that picked? That one, legit not my fault. Don't care what you say. Not my fault. Throwing on the timing of the route. Switched on with Godwin, and he stops. Like, it's so dumb. Like, look at that! Look at that! Going for the possession catch, look at the animation. I come back to work towards the football, and the animation, instead of going after it, is... Can I catch it like this? Is it... There's a DB! Turnover to start the game is not what we want, obviously. That one's BS. I do not care what anyone says. That's a dumb one. As Dorian Tompkins takes out his interception frustration on Ryan Tannehill, doing jumping jacks, getting going. That dude's a crazy man on the D-line. But he's not a psycho like Tyrone Wilbur, who I'm convinced has probably killed somebody. If you've seen him, he looks crazy. He looks crazy. And I'm not sure if I'm crazy enough to do a murder storyline, but listen, it worked for Ray Lewis in his Ravens franchise. Oh, wait, that was real life. 
Tennessee's going to punt again. Our defense is playing well. They're not going to move the ball. That's my prediction. They will not move the ball. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. It should be working. We just got a weird animation. That also looked like Cameron Ford, by the way. Tell me this is not Cameron Ford, right? Wear number 28. Short dreadlocks. It has arm tape, though. Trey Flower looking like Cameron Ford a little bit. Of course, our star corner. Superstar corner. He's got the dev trait now. We can just call it that if we want to. Third and eight. Beside Riley with superstar dev now. Let's get Godwin on the sideline. Rod God. If they're in zone coverage like that and you have, uh, you know, time in the pocket, just buy a little bit more time, make a play, and that'll that'll be open. Slant, Rod God. These animations are so weird, but Rod God has a touchdown. That was weird. This game is weird. It's so animation driven. I'm trying to throw the slant, and it's just he doesn't run it like a slant. He starts taking steps towards the sideline for some reason before he catches it. Explode through the ball. Weird game. Weird game. Hope it gets better for Madden 23 and beyond, of course. But I think while it's still on this game engine, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but like I, games run on engines and stuff, right? When the gameplay is still like it is with how players move and run and everything's animation based, I don't think it's going to be all that good. Run left. Turner getting over there. Wow. Oh my God, man. Davidson tackles him with his back. Okay, I need to, I need to talk about why I dove with da uh, Derek Davidson. I tried to switch to Wilbur. As I switched and dove, <laughs> uh, that's exactly what he did. Oh, good cut back up the middle. Okay, Tennessee's moving the ball a little bit. I said they weren't going to, but their running back's averaging over 10 yards per carry, which is far more than the four we were trying to limit him to. Just a couple big plays, and it's all right. It's early. It's early, and they're going to just block well. Okay, what do, what do we do, man? Kendall Sheffield's going to come in for Okuda. Their O-line is just manhandling us run up the middle and that's a touchdown Tennessee what's happening with this run game man the Titans are like unstoppable right now return man for Assad Riley so we can just turn and do stuff without losing stamina or speed I don't know never used it before hopefully it ends up being good but we might end up giving him a different ability. He's actually on the field because of injuries. No Wilkinson and no Richie Owens means he is somehow going to be playing a lot. As TJ Hawkinson, who hasn't really done a lot this year, will get the football there. Rashad Reese to the outside. He's just faster. Rashad Reese has the sideline. That speed is just so major. 22 yards rushing on that play that's really really lovely to see we want to get Rashad Reese going as a runner again because uh we just haven't had that this season it feels like that's a stupid stupid play Assad Riley gets it though uh, I just threw it too early I didn't time it right we're lucky there that that was not intercepted very lucky it's, I think, the fine idea. You just got to wait on that to actually get open. As we're going to roll out here. Send Rod God up the field. Chris Godwin, touchdown. Rod Christopher Godwin Jr. Scores another touchdown in this game. Just felt like the best chance to score if we got it to him there. And we're going to take the lead here, 14-7. to Tennessee's been tough to stop so far. Defense has got to play better. Second eight, Tannehill's getting sacked. It's Russ Clemens. Yeah, we need to be killing this, this O-line. If we have Tyree Phillips against Russ Clemens, I want him to put up 10 sacks this game. Make them pay. 
for having Tyree Phillips start. It's going to be a check down. Tennessee loves their check downs. Eight yards passing for Ryan Tannehill so far. We got Rashad Reese out of the backfield. Just kind of a weird animation there. This is what, you know, that's just what happens. Weird animations. Because I thought we would have had a ton of room to run after that. As we will run with DeAndre Swift up the middle. Good block by Rod Guy, but he just kind of stood over his body all creepily. Like, dude, block somebody else. Block somebody else after. I like this with Rod God. Oh, man. And he wasn't open. But they sent a lot of heat. Um, Let's just get a bunch of crossing routes on the field. Try to confuse the defense. And check down Rashad Reese. Good spin move. And that is another first down. As Amon Ross St. Brown's injured now. Yep, you guessed it. That's going to mean Garth Ray will be into play. And more Assad Riley, of course. And that probably means more running plays. Rashad Reese is actually out wide. We're going to give him a shot. Rashad Reese! Mossed him! He's got, like... Well, I guess with the boost, he probably has 90-plus spectacular catch. With the aggressive catch trait, give Rashad Reese a shot. Man, it's so difficult to determine who the best player on our team is, but look at that effort from Reese. Sky high, rose over Farley, and scored a sick touchdown as we have a dislocated ankle for St. Brown. Look at this play, though. Look at this play. I, sometimes just give your guys a shot. I'm going to tell you right now, Chris Godwin doesn't do this for us. But that's an amazing play by Reese. Caleb Farley's out of position. Came back to contest it. Don't matter. Sick play by Rashad Reese. This dude's a Rashad beast. Just want to check what his uh, numbers are playing up to right now, by the way. Only 79 catching. His spectacular catch, 86. Is he not getting boosts? Oh, he's not a receiver. He's not a receiver, so it's still only 86. Still a sick play. Run left. Contain that. Who is this running back? He's averaging 8.7 yards per carry. George Morton, was that his name? George? Ugh. Third and three. Ooh, good whip route. I mean, everything's, everything's open. Huge hit. Tyrone Wilbur. It's a first down by Tennessee, but he's letting them know. I'll stab you in the parking lot after the game. Keep running the ball well. See what happens. Is it, do you want a good game today or a career? Turner up the middle. I hit him so late. And it's picked off by Imani Warawarie. Oh, I was 100% roughing the passer. They're not calling it. And it's another interception on the season for Warawarie. How many is that now? He's, he's been unreal again. Also, how late did I hit the quarterback? Um... Let's count the steps after the ball gets released. One, two. Eh. I, I think that's an okay no call. I don't think that gets called in the NFL. I think that's roughing the passer probably. But we got lucky. We got one. We got away with one. Lob it up. It's under pressure inaccurate. We had something there, but... I mean, we had a touchdown, really. They blitzed everybody. Cover zero, blitz zero. And just couldn't deliver an accurate throw under those tough conditions. As Riley, I think he fought for the first. Fourth and in inches. Yeah, okay. On what planet would a team settle for a 58-yard try rather than try to actually get the first down on fourth and in inches? inches not even a yard i like i like a drag here or rashad reese on a swing something will be open there it is it wasn't as open as i wanted it to be but it was open enough 
We have Rasad Riley here. We're throwing to the end zone. Riley beat him. They're saying he's out of bounds. No. The undrafted rookie free agent getting playtime because of injury. And they're going to say he was out of the end zone. Oh, we had a touchdown. We had a touchdown. The ball got there. They're going to say he didn't drag his feet. He fought the laws of physics to not get the right foot down. I mean, how do you not get the right foot down? Because it's off the ground there. And it just hovers. And then clicks or, uh, kicks off his heel. This is the same play on third and five. Same result. Mm, not really open enough. We're going to go for Godwin. Man, that should have been an Assad Riley touchdown. That would have been a beautiful moment. It would have been a beautiful moment. Would have cried tears of joy for him and his family. Didn't even get drafted. Was a free agent for all of like uh, a few months. <laughs> we signed him right after the draft. No, he was an immediate signing. He was a free agent for 30 seconds. Second and three. I'm going to go for Riley here. It's going to be picked. Um, Caleb Farley gets it. That's just me wanting to make a play. He wasn't there. We had it open underneath. We wanted Riley. And, uh, oh, it looked like the foot might have been out of bounds, but they're going to they're gonna say it's a pick, and that is my sixth of the year. Down significantly, but it's still, like, on average, like, one a game, which is more than I want. Two in the first half here is not what I wanted. And avoidable as well, at least that last one. Just lobbing it up. Do you want Amani Warawaria to pick it? Off the hands of Kendall Sheffield. That's the end of the first half. 21-7. Weird game so far. They have certainly had the option to run the ball down our throats and just stopped. So thank you for that. A little play action. Ah, sacked. <laughs> just looking for too much on that. If it's not open, you gotta you gotta check down or do something else. Or run or something. Now it's second and 22. That's how we get in trouble. Just locking on, hoping that something gets open. There's Asad Riley. Get out of the pocket with Paul Garrison. We're running. Stiff arm Garrison. It's going to be still, I mean, super short of the first down. And we will punt the football. Dickerson up the middle. Ooh, Braxton Turner couldn't tackle him. Cameron Ford finishing the play. Oh, and he's getting sacked. That's Tyrone Wilbur, the rookie out of UF. Third and 15 for the Tennessee Titans. Trying to make some plays. We got bumped there, and of course, that got open, and Dickerson can't rip the football out, but they're going to be short. On fourth and one from the 48, you go for this. Down 21 to seven in the, in the second half. You absolutely go for it. And they're not going to. They're like, ah, you know what? Winning. We're just, we're just here to have fun. It's a game. Let's treat it like a game. Weak. Play action here on second and 11. We're going to Riley again. He's got a step. Assad Riley beat Flowers. Caleb Farley saves a touchdown. Unbelievable speed from Caleb Farley. If he had a chance to run at the combine, it would have been a low time. It would have been probably 4-3 range. He's real fast. Crazy good athlete at Virginia Tech. And um, I'm excited to see him get healthy and play. I really am. Injuries are a huge concern. Torres ACL too, which wasn't even something you thought about. But uh, I'm excited to see him play. I think he's got sky-high potential. Technique is a little flawed, as that is nearly intercepted. Crazy animation by Rashawn Evans, who is not making that play in coverage. But yeah, I'm excited about Caleb Farley. He saw that speed on display there. So we're going to check down to Rashad Reese. And he is just short of the end zone. I thought that was going to be a touchdown, almost guaranteed. There is plenty of space there. 
and that's open. We'll get the Rashad Reese touchdown on the next play. They had a defensive tackle out trying to cover Rashad Reese. That's a little bit of a mismatch. It's a little bit of a mismatch. Oh, it's play action. All right. BJ Dickerson. Oh, hit stick didn't land. Dolphins franchise legend. Preston Williams with his third catch of the game. Run. Oh, broken tackle. Another broken tackle. I just didn't know. I didn't expect those uh, tackles to get broken. I was right there with Wilbur and ended up hit sticking air. To run. Oh, it's play action. And Tannehill gets wrecked. BJ Dickerson and Tyrone Wilbur finish him. Tyrone Wilbur is using Tannehill to get up. Pushed him into the ground. <laughs> oh, he's, a, he's an insane man. That's exactly what you want at middle linebacker. Just someone that instills fear in opposing teams. It's a check down. Brian Davis, big hit. He has like 84 hit power with love of fumble. It's fourth and one. And again, from the 49 down 28-7 in the third quarter, you go for this and they're going to punt again. Ooh, Brian Davis injured. Let's bring in J.D. Keltner for a little bit. And it is third and seven. Need Chris Godwin to get open. We got some crazy crossers. And we got we got some crazy open receivers. Okay, DeAndre Swift he had to be super dramatic there. Holding on TJ Hawkinson negates a great two-yard gain. First and 20 instead of second and eight. I don't mind it, honestly. I don't mind it. I do mind being backed up though a bit. And we're gonna have a step with Asad Riley. It's a nice gain for the UDFA. Of course, accomplished career at Fresno State. Didn't end up getting an NFL contract. And he's open on the slant. Natural pick gave him some separation. Kevin Byard in pursuit. Riley down the sideline. Farley's not gonna stop this one. Asad Riley touchdown. Uh, and the nay nay makes me want to just take it all back if I could. If I could have that not happen, I'd never even throw on the ball. Very lucky Kevin Byard got bumped across the middle. But Asad Riley showing off pretty good speed after the catch there. Yeah, ton of yards after catch. 60 ish? Huge gain. Huge touchdown and a huge lead. 35 to 7 Detroit. Tannehill, going to throw it away here. Uphill battle for Tennessee. We got all the momentum. Tannehill only 11 attempts on the game. They've run the ball so effectively, averaging like 30 yards a carry, and then they're like, eh, we're not going to do that anymore. As they get it to the running back, as a receiver, he just breaks tackles. That's just what he does. That's his thing. Third and three. Oh, just really great route. And that's a ton of space for Preston Williams. That is a huge game. Might be the biggest play for the offense today. Underneath! I, he's just not fast enough, man. Tyrone Wilbur with 89 speed is not fast enough because linebacker abilities are nerfed. Second and one. I'm sending everyone after the QB. Picked off by Orwarie! Why did he throw it so low? Amani Warwari to the 30. 25, 20. Do I hear 30? 35, 40. Yeah, 50. Sold to Tennessee. All right. <laughs> Amani Warwari touchdown. It's going to be 42 to 7. Second pick of the game for Warwari. What was that throw from Tannehill? Not a good one. I'll tell you that. That's so open, but Orawari is covering it. Now allows the catch. Is he just trying to bait the quarterback Tannehill to throw at him so he can get picks? It's a great strategy. Keep it up. Covering that over the middle, and Tannehill's getting sacked. Took away every read, and Dorian Tompkins takes him down again. Are you blitzing? Yep. And I... Okay. <laughs> Of course, they flagged Tyrone Wilbur and not Braxton Turner for roughing the passer. 
I mean, it's just classic double standards in this freaking country. Quick throw, or Warrior! He thought he was gonna jump it again. Oh, can't tackle him. And Tennessee knocking on the door here. Their offense is dead last in the entire league. But uh, they are maybe gonna score two touchdowns on this defense today. It's a nice play. Give me a hold on that. Give me a hold. Holding. Love that. Give him first and goal from the 13. Let me get out. It's up in the air. Make a play. Pick it off. Do something. Run left. Wilbur going to wrap that up. But I think BJ Dickerson really made the play. As Dorian Tompkins is hurt. No. Not Dorian Tompkins. Certainly way better than Dorian Hood. No, a lot of you guys are watching the NCAA series. So thank you very much for that. Dorian Hood sucks. If you watch NCAA Riverside Royals Dynasty, you know what I mean. If you don't, you don't. But he sucks. We do hold him to a field goal, though. Torn labrum. Dorian Tompkins is going to miss some time. BJ Hill, big shoes to fill. Oh, DeAndre Swift following the gaps here. Good block. DeAndre Swift, maybe the biggest run of the series. He's out of stamina. DeAndre Swift, huge run, should be a touchdown. Really, should be a touchdown. The fact that that's not a touchdown is so dumb. It just shows you how animation and stupid game mechanic dependent this freaking game is. It's Paul Green with the rare catch. Paul Garrison, five touchdowns over 400 yards this game. But man, Swifty had a touchdown. And it was taken off uh, off the board, essentially. That's what happened. Might try and get one here. Big truck, DeAndre Swift, mean running. Angry running. Should be angry he didn't get that long touchdown. But gets it there. Gets it there. I tell you what. That DeAndre Swift, they, they call him DeAndre Fast. That guy can run. Oh, that's no good. That's a broken tackle. Preston Williams is just unbelievable this game. He's got over 100 yards. I mean, for sure, right? Levi Anzarike in there. Tyrone Wilbur pushes him out of bounds. Only nine seconds remain. I would say there's a realistic shot here that Preston Williams has half or over half of all yards in the game from Ryan Tannehill. So, 243 yards passing. I think he's probably got 130 receiving yards. I would bet something close to that. We've been allowing some big games to receivers and not the ones you'd expect. Tannehill, last shot at the end zone. That ball is tipped up and incomplete. Your final is 49 to 10. We are plus eight overall on this team and I think we played like it. Five touchdowns for Paul Garrison. Two picks. Two picks, but it could be an MVP type year for him. Rushing, we got killed by George Morton. Both running backs ended up averaging 7.2 yards per carry. Both had a touchdown. Swift only broke one tackle. He wasn't actually running all that well until the two big runs at the end of the game. But a good, good stuff overall. Reese had one for 22. I don't know. The offense is just so air raid happy. Assad Riley had seven for 186. Preston Williams had 120 yards receiving, by the way. Seven for 186 for Assad Riley. Of course, when you have 92 yards after catching a 70 yard play, that's going to help those numbers. What a game from Assad Riley. Rashad Reese, seven for 41, two touchdowns. Godwin, seven for 123 and two touchdowns. Just crazy numbers from this team. Usually Reese is the big play guy, but Chris Godwin and Asad Riley. Crazy stuff. Defensively, just a bunch of tackles overall. Wilbur had three for loss and one and a half sacks. He had his best game so far. Torn Labrum from Dorian Tompkins is the big story here. He is probably our best defensive player, I would say. And the uh, Money Warrior competing for that two picks and a touchdown. But man. 
Dorian Tompkins out for probably four or five weeks. Big time upgrades for a lot of players here. Paul Garrison, it's going to be improviser until we can get 90. So we get, is it escape artist? I want to say plus two throw accuracy deep. That's going to be playing up to a 99, right? Accuracy is all at 99 right now. And uh, he also had, man, was it throw on the run? No, it was break sack plus two break sack. That's good. DeAndre Swift, I know you guys keep saying get his elusive back up. I want 80 trucking. We'll do elusive back this time, though. Maybe we'll get lucky and get it in here anyway. I don't even think you can do that. Plus two spin move, plus one carrying, break tackle, and awareness. He, he's, looks, he's looking pretty good. I don't know what that stamina is that couldn't finish that run. Tyrone Wilbur has to be run stopper. We need the block shed to go up. He looks like an insane person plus three block shed up to 70 it's just look at the hair dude he looks like a mad scientist and his eyes are like yellow looks like uh oh my goodness he looks like uh like uh the vampire from twilight i'm a big twilight fan i don't know if you guys knew that it's not true I had to sit through that one yeah excuse uh, how i searched for him but uh it's big man ronnie from uh startup uh, not really a show worth watching, by the way, but yeah, he looks like this guy. Had to watch uh, this movie probably six months ago. Yeah, never going to get that time back. No, but I I'm a big fan. Uh, uh, Robert Pattinson. Oh, man, what a what a dreamboat. I'm Team Edward. Aline McNeil, let's do, uh, let's do Run Stopper. What is the channel at this point? It's a good question. Perfect chemistry. Well, he didn't play, man. We got cameras in here? Richie Owens is dressed like he wasn't injured for the game. Like, it remains with normal dev. It's so dumb, man. He was injured. He would have had it. He would have had it. Cold opponent. Yeah, we murdered them. Shout out Ray Lewis. Shout out uh, Tyro Wilbur. Yeah, I mean, we crushed them. What's our goal here? Entire team gets 1,000 XP. It's not great. It's not terrible. And, of course, the two new injuries. Amon Ross St. Brown dislocated ankle is seven weeks. Dorian Tompkins out for the next four. And then Frank Ragnow, Richie Owens, Raphael Wilkinson could be back next episode. Maybe they'll get injured again. But they are apparently back. And we have a message about a breakout player against Chicago who's only 2-5. and five. We have a cupcake schedule this year. But we'll finish this episode out by upgrading some of the players. Cameron Ford's going to be slot. Oh, he does have 85 slot now. So we can give him one step ahead. Oh, it, it's chalked. It's chalked now. He's going to be so good. Want his own coverage to go up even higher, but if we have one step ahead, we can run a lot of man. Let's do... Let's do slot, though. He's going to go up to an 89. A lot's getting upgraded. Plus three press. Plus one catching is nice since he drops every pick. He's got 75 catching. Why is he dropping the ball? Make a play. Anyway, he's a beast, but now he has one step ahead. He's going to be even better. I'm sorry to opposing quarterbacks, but we will be picking you off. Agile for Panay Sewell. He's going to get upgraded a little bit. He's, you know, slowly and steadily getting upgraded. It takes a lot to upgrade running and pass blocking. As we get Raphael Wilkinson more points. It's got to be deep route running, so we're going to go deep threat. Do want to upgrade physical at some point. He's playing up to an 85 Plus two catching, plus two deep route running, plus one spectacular catch. Probably the upgrades I would want the most there. I want spectacular catch to be up a lot. This can be my jump ball guy. He's 6'3", man. We can give him some chances. He looks so well-rounded, so talented. He's just got to stay on the field. That's the big thing. Stay on the field. We'll do power for Jamie Gillen. We'll get kick power in there, hopefully. Plus one kick power up to a 94. And then the last upgrade will be for Asad Riley. We're going to do deep threat. He moves up to a 74 here. He's already a 71 overall. Plus two deep route running, plus two release. He's, he's coming along. He's coming along. I think return man sucks, by the way. 
I kind of want to take it off. Let's give him... Let's give him short and elite, maybe? Is that good? Just drag slants. But does that increase catching chances? Or does that increase, like, route running? It seems like catching. So I don't know. But big game for Assad Riley is the big story for me there in week seven. Paul Garrison wins another player of the week. Look at Earl Nixon, by the way. Superstar X-Factor corner that we took Cameron Ford over, essentially. Having a really big game there in the AFC. But yeah, Paul Garrison's going off. Amani Warawarie is just getting multiple interceptions multiple games a season love to see it that's gonna be the episode guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed see you in the next one take it easy